they, they came, are. They they came across yours, and what you was doing? Mm -hmm. you, they just you you just did the you just did the videos while the the camera yeah. was mount was the camera mounted on the was the camera mounted or did it uh, look like you was? That's what I'm gonna like, describe. It did it look like it was in your hand when? No, I had it always mounted. Mounted always. Uh, um, okay, and. I had a just, phone mount that has a suction cup to the window okay. right there by the smart drive little indicator. Okay, so basically you're 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 talking, interacting with you know with yourself and and just talking and all like that, and they they saw that as distracted driving, in other words. Which could be, but they didn't tell me exactly. Um, I had my headset and I was doing the TikToks through my headset. Like, I'm talking to you right now through my headset. Mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't really reacting. I was just talking about, like, what's around me and stuff, um, which is still interacting. Don't get me wrong. It is. But um, they couldn't tell me a clear reason why they let me go. Now, there has been uh, people, when I was team driving briefly um, with another TikToker that I know of, um, Basically, he made a comment on one of my videos. He's like, "I just recently, too, I think today or yesterday, and I'm going to not burst his bubble too bad, but he's like, uh, I see a reflection of your phone in your glasses. You said you didn't do that. Uh, I said in my video, my teammate's driving, for one. And two, you can see my hands, one is above my face and the other one's with the hand. He's driving next to me, and I, he didn't want to show himself, you know, which, hey, each person has their own right to do that. You know, I don't want to infringe on his rights. And that he, that's coming from another officer. My teammate was a former state trooper as well. And me and him paired very well together. And, you know, it, it just kind of bugged me, you know. Okay. That, so, um, so they, so, so they, well, how, how, how did they do it? They, they, they called you up. They, they, they routed you no. to they they routed you to a terminal <laughs> or what what was the what was the end what so was the basically, end game? yeah i had a load out of troutdale oregon and um basically it was to ffe it was like a extra what is it overage load i don't know what to call it i think it's overage so basically they didn't need it right then so they took it off of a former load and put it in CS and overage. So I took that load back to the one place that it was supposed to deliver. And from my knowledge, they weren't there. So I had to go back to the terminal. From there, I found out in the morning, since I was very feeling under the weather, I actually had the flu and fighting a massive infection. And I couldn't take meds because, you know, certain flu meds you can't have on the road, you know, sleep, it causes fatigue and stuff. You know, it's against DOT policy okay, and FSCA. So then my DL calls me like at like four o'clock in the morning, well before my hours of service would be okay for me to come back on duty. And she's like, yeah, we're going to have to let you go. And I never heard from HR, nothing. Um, usually it comes straight from the HR's mouth or the safety team, uh, safety department. Mm hmm and then um, I never got paid very well. I got probably $37 each paycheck. I actually have all my pay stubs in the box behind me. I have the most recent one. They fired me on the 2nd of February, so they claim. And um, they continued to pay me after that. Well, after that, I got a pay stub for the 25th of February. Pay week. Wow. If I'm not still there working for you why am i still receiving money well after usually well, they, they pay that within the well, first they, week and they well, cut they, it off well they probably still had some residuals uh loads that they probably didn't pay you on prior so they was able to clear you know clear up all of the you know all of the loads that they didn't pay you on to go ahead and pay you a little bit afterwards. which would have been all of but, them then yeah. Which would have been all of them. Yeah. Because they never really paid me. Um, I was supposed to, I did 900 
miles from Idaho. It was Kuno, Idaho from CSC, one of the best places to do. It's very tight, though. You're basically in the middle of nowhere with cows. And you go in there and you get the frozen beef, you get out of there. It was a load from Kuna, Idaho to Vernon, California. All that right. was a 1,500 mile load. So at 60 cents per mile. All right. So did so did they pay you for that, or they paid you after for that? No, they never paid me still to this day for my work. Oh, okay. So now, so, so now you a, after you did. So you had a conversation after you had the conversation with safety and they pretty much came and told you, you know, that they had to let you go, you know, a one and done type situation. It wasn't even safety. It was my DL. Oh, your DL. Oh, okay. My so, safety or HR never contacted me whatsoever. Okay. So your, your DL let you go because it, did, mm-hmm. did he actually, did he actually say Jeez. It was, or did she actually say it was because of your, because of the, uh, because of the electronic device policy? Did she actually say no, that? No, she didn't give me a clear, no, she didn't choose, like, we're just letting you go. Oh, okay. Well, it, it is a, it is, so, a, it is a at will, uh, a at will employment. So they could pretty much, yes, it is. They could pretty much let you yes, go it for, is. for anything. But um, yep. all right. So and then I and then after I get fired, you know, I go through the hoops. You know, like okay, you know, you know, you get come to that realization of like, hey, I effed up. <laughs> you know, you come to that like acceptance stage, and then you get to that point where oh, I got to start applying places. You know, I I done fubbed up. Let's not make that mistake again. Then you start applying places. I applied to Melton Truck Lines, which is flatbed. I kind of wanted to change it up a bit, get more experience, get a little more something different. They told me on the spot they couldn't hire me because of what Swift has been doing and saying. They told me to go through the driver portal, dispute the claims. And I'm not the only one apparently who's dealing with this. I've been seeing a lot of drivers who have been terminated from Swift for no reason at all. Like they couldn't tell. And dealing with the same stuff. Okay, so now you're you're trying your your issue is now is that finding Swift, a job. Uh, Swift must uh, well it, it takes about you say Swift let you go what in February? Yep. So and the thing is, they about, already it, started stuff. It takes about a month. So this is what. Mm-hmm. March, March A. So it usually takes about. Yeah, it's been a month and a half. So usually it takes about a month, so uh, for all this stuff to show up on your DAC report. So mm-hmm. did you after you, after you applied to Melton and found out that you know that you you wasn't you was rejected, and they told you why because mm-hmm. of Swift. Did you go to uh, go to see anything on your DAC report? Because you're able, once you fill out the application uh, to any trucking company, you are able to mm-hmm. get your DAC and PSP report. Did you actually get any? Of yes. Those? Yes. So when I was going through Melbourne, I was actually already pre-qualified and hired on until last minute I oh, found out. Okay. Um, so- Swift actually had it. When I applied for Melton, I was actually probably a week to two weeks away from being like, I just got terminated, like, out. And they already had stuff on my DAC report. Right. So what was now, on your DAC report? that's what Melton said. Did- so from what I was seeing, nothing. I actually have my DAC report here in my hand and my PSP and my MVR, actually. Okay. Um. So there's so there's nothing. It has nothing. All right. So there's nothing. No, on, it is clean. So there's nothing on your DAC report. So that means that somebody actually called Swift because they gotta yep. get your they 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 gotta get your your experience. Verify you know, they, of employment. They gotta mm-hmm. verify. They gotta verify your experience. So in other words, instead of somebody just telling them. Oh yeah, you you work here from this day to this date. 
somebody mm-hmm. who took an extra step and said, oh, okay, we let them go because of this. Pretty much. Yep. Okay. And because then I got my PSP report, and it basically shows nothing, which I've never oh. been inspected nothing, which is normal. Okay. But it doesn't show any of my crashes, nothing. Okay, so I have had no accidents. Okay, so every so everything is clean. So basically, what you yep, basically what you might need to do in the future is if Swift, you know, if Swift was the uh, you know the only verifiable, the only mm-hmm. the, just kind of requests uh, in the application. Kind of, not the contract. Yeah, pretty much because that's what I do. Put, and then I have when you when you put not the contact on there. Mm-hmm. Basically, what they'll just do is just contact for the experience. Yep, and bullshit. And that's it. Mm-hmm. They won't they they won't ask anything else because you put yep. on you you put on there not the contact. So that that would yep. be the, that, then, that would be that that would be the advice. Uh, that, that yeah, would and be I've been advice. doing that. I've actually been doing that. So, I could actually show you. I've applied to other places. I think I showed that in one of my TikToks. Actually, I've applied to other places and I put "do not," you know, contact. But then I have my old instructor as a reference, actually, and he's been you, saying, "Hey, she could actually drive." You know, like, "Hey, X, Y, and Z." I've taught her. I'm a Top Gun instructor. Like all this. Okay, well, if you if you got that, and he's that's, vouched for it. All right, if you got somebody that will vouch for you, that's that's a good thing mm-hmm. too. All right, all right. So, little Bo but, Peep. But the issue that I had, so. All right, so yes, sir. little little Bo Peep, huh? Yeah, you want to know how I got my name? I I I, I can Im- I I can imagine, but we're kind of like out of time. <laughs> So, Not a problem. <laughs> so, uh, how how can um how can people uh how how can people find you and follow you? So I have a YouTube, but I don't really post on there. But my TikTok is Little Bo Peep ninety four. All right, that's little, how they can find me. All right, Little Bo Peep ninety four on TikTok. Well, I do appreciate you coming over and uh, chopping it up with me. I, I I I really enjoyed the conversation and the stories that that uh, that's behind your experience and everything from uh, from CR England to Indiana State Trooper all the way up to your issues with uh, Swift. So I appreciate it. Guys, you know the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Man Podcast Show. If you guys want to come on and join me, all you got to do is hit me up, 216-600-2090. And, uh, and yeah, we can go from there. Little Bo Peep, thank you very much. I really do appreciate Not it. Problem, you sir. Are, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. You are a citizen, so I hope to hear from you again. Yes, sir. You too. Have a good one. All right, now take it easy. Only one of the greatest. That is a law. Yeah, that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous. Just being real. Yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless. Give them no clout. I give them no power. Creators of different names.